Hi, it's Orly from OGC Beading Design Board. I wanted to show you uh, what I'm up to, but before I do that, I want to recap because we haven't done this in three or four videos. So I wanted to show you the uh, OG seed beading design board again. Just to remind you, it's double-sided. Uh, on this side, you have uh, offset dimples for uh, beading in, in, or designing in peyote. Uh, offset, smaller, larger beads. This accommodates beads from um, 16 to 8. And when you're, when you're doing your design, you put your beads in the little uh, reservoirs here and you just pick them out and design. And the nice thing about the board is that um, for design work, you can you know, put them on, take them off, move them around. No muss, no fuss. So um, what I like to do uh, is after I bead, after I put my design down and I settle on my design, I'll, uh, if I'm looming, I'll bring the loom over. If, if not, then obviously I don't. But I pick up the, um, the beads right from the board. So with uh, needle in hand, I'm, I'm stringing. I'm picking them up and stringing them right off of the board. So that way I make sure that I'm, I'm true to the pattern, to the uh, design that I've created. So that's it. That's the short review on that, but don't go away. Because... I wanted to show you this. This is very important. Um, I designed, I designed these little uh, koi fish or as most people say, geckos, <laughs> because they don't look like koi's to them. But anyway, um, and what I've done is, over here I've used size um, 11 beads, and over here I've used size 16, so these are itty bitty. But you can see, it, on the board they come out the same size, so what I wanted to show you is how they shrink. So. This is this row using um, the size 16 beads. Um, this is, by the way, the offset side, so I did a peyote stitch on this, and um, it was freehand, obviously. And on this side, the 11s, it came out this big. So there's a lot less shrinkage um, the larger the beads are that you're using. So I always recommend that you string just a few rows to get an idea of what the uh, the size will be based on the beads that you're using. So you've got an example here from from really small to average. Uh, you can go up to size 8 on the board um, and in that case there won't be much shrinkage at all. Um, but that's it. So I don't know if you can see that, but there you have it. Now, um, I also wanted to show you, I had a, uh, a YouTube up with this, but I think I'm going to take it down because as I was watching it again, it was putting me to sleep. Um, but I did want to show you this necklace, uh, which I designed on, on the OG board. and. Um, this is, this is just plain uh, peyote, peyote stitch. But I thought I would share it with you since I'm taking down the video where I showed it to you on the board. So let's put that aside. And the good news is that uh, probably within the next uh, 60 days, I'm going to be um, opening. I don't know if opening is the right term. Um, but I'm, I'm going to have a, a website where I'm going to be um, showcasing the uh, OG CB design board for your perusal and purchase, if you like. And I'll also be um, offering these uh, various tweezers. I've done some research, as, I mean, as far as what's, what's good 
uh, for me. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll be good for you. I always, I always like the cross lock, which which I've mentioned to you in the past. So this this cross lock is is just got the uh, curve at the end, and this cross lock is just straight. And these two are just plain uh, regular tweezers, straight, curved, no cross lock. But these things are very, very pointy. And so they really do make, um, maybe I should have put my glasses on before I did this. <laughs> but they make, they make picking up and putting down the bead and making your design very easy. They're also very light so you don't get tired. I'm definitely going to put my glasses on before I do the next demo. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, so I wanted to show you all of this, recap the board, to uh, show you about the different sizes, um, tell you that I'm very excited about um, having, having a website. Um, of course, there'll be a link on the website to the uh, to these marvelous YouTubes. And um, I think that's all I have to say at the moment. So as usual, thanks a lot for watching and I hope you visit the website. Oh, and the website's name is going to be, coincidentally, OG's Seed Beading Design Board .com. Thanks. Bye.